Hi there, I'm Dan Elder from Kidasa Software Support. Welcome to this tutorial video about Milestones Professional. This tutorial video covers switching out all of your unique IDs for new ones. This method also works if you just need to change some of your unique IDs. One reason your unique IDs might have changed is maybe you moved your tasks to a different MS project file. Also, this might be helpful if you're changing what field is used to link tasks, since you can also use a text or number field to link tasks instead of unique ID. The first thing you'll need to do is open one of your schedules that's linked to an MS project schedule. This example file contains several tasks, but I'm only going to replace the unique IDs in these three that are labeled. You can see they are linked using unique IDs 5, 9, and 8. If I click on one of the symbols and go to the Symbol Link sub-tab, you can see the Symbol Link contains the original unique ID, in this case 5. Also, if I click on the cell inside the task column, you can see the actual row itself is linked with that unique ID as well. The method in this video will update all instances of these unique IDs with a new unique ID. Now I'm going to go to Microsoft Excel. Inside Excel, you will need to enter or copy your unique IDs into two separate columns. The column on the left will be the old unique IDs, and the column on the right will be the new unique IDs. For example, I will put the current unique IDs 5, 9, and 8 on the left, and replace them with unique IDs 55, 99, and 88 on the right, just as an example. Now I'm going to select the information in Excel, and either press Control c or click on the Copy button to get this information to the clipboard. You should see some dashed lines around your information in Excel. Now I'm going to go back to Milestones Professional, go to the Connections tab, click on the Refresh Previously Imported Project button, which will give me a drop-down, and then I can click on Manage UIDs in Cell and Symbol Tags. Then I have to click the button on the left, press to retrieve old slash new unique ID pairs from clipboard, and as you can see, my unique ID pairs appear in that old new UIDs box. Make sure to choose the left radio button on the bottom, unless you're planning to only change part of the unique ID string. For instance, if I pick the left option, it would change all unique ID 5s to 55s. If I pick the right option, it would also change unique ID 15 to 155 and 25 to 255, etc. So be sure to choose the correct option for what you're trying to accomplish. Now I'm going to press Change IDs Now. It should give you a little dialog saying if it replaced any of the uh, unique IDs, and you could press OK, and then you could press Done, and then if you go to any of your symbols, you can see it changed that unique ID 5 to 55. If you go to the cell, uh, you can see the same thing. And then if you go to these other cells, you can see those got updated as well. So it's unique ID 99 instead of the old one, which was 9, and so on. This method is great for updating some or all of your unique IDs without having to do it manually, which could be kind of tiresome. Another helpful tip is a way to see a list of all unique IDs being used in your Milestones Professional Schedule. If you go to the Tools tab and click on the Symbol button and then choose Symbol Tags, it will show you a list of all the symbol tags on your schedule, including a separate column for unique IDs. You can actually copy and paste this list directly into Excel, so you've already got your old unique ID column set up. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial video about Milestones Professional. Be sure to visit our website at kidasa.com and email support at kidasa.com with any questions. Thanks for watching.